let's move on. Topic number four is Giannis Cespedes. Now, Chris, I, I know that you paid attention to this over the weekend, but the Mets were playing in Atlanta, right? And Sunday, yesterday, they show up to the ballpark, and he does not report, and they try and call his hotel room, and he does not answer. They try and call his cell phone. He does not answer. They send security to the hotel room. He is not there. All of his belongings are packed up. He is gone. His agent doesn't know where he is. And in the middle of the game, he sends a text message and lets them know, deuces, I'm out. Holla at you. I'm not playing the rest of this season. And we still, at this point, do not have any real explanation as to why he decided to leave. Now, I have my ideas. Uh, Chris, would you like to go first, or do you want me to, to put out my conspiracy theory? I have no idea, so... My conspiracy theory is this. Everybody knows that the Marlins, or at least it is rumored, I don't know that they have confirmed this yet, but it is rumored that the Marlins, when they were in Atlanta, decided to go out and have themselves a good time and whatever. The, I believe it was the Cardinals that went to a casino, right? When they were, where, where were they when they went uh, to a casino? Do you remember? I think they were at home. All right, so, so they went to a casino, went out, had themselves a good time and whatnot. Two of the guys ended up with COVID. It is now nine different players on the St. Louis Cardinals that have it. Uh, their series against the Tigers is postponed. So, yeah, <laughs> Matt Miller said, uh, Giannis Cespedes, Yo Ennis. Yo Ennis? Is it Yo Ennis Cespedes? I don't know how to pronounce any of these guys' names. Okay, I, Matt Miller, I apologize. I have no idea. I, <laughs> I, tr- I tried. Okay, how about this? Cespedes. Either way, I think that he was in Atlanta, and obviously there's a lot to do in Atlanta, right? A lot of guys have been getting in trouble. Lou Williams got in trouble for it. They, that's why he's serving a 10-game quarantine, suspension, whatever. Um, I think, now, the Brown Yeti said someone's trying to kill him. I don't think that's it at all. I think that he might have been taking this incredibly seriously. I mean, remember, this guy's worth a lot of money. I think he was taking this seriously and he may have seen that some of his teammates were not. And rather than ratting on the teammates or whatever, he just said, you know what? I'm out. I'm not going to do this. You know, and, and if they're not, okay, Yo Ennis. There we go. Ben Ben corrected me. He said, Yo Ennis. All right, so Yo Ennis, Cespedes. Uh, I think that that's what happened here. I think that some of the other guys were not taking it seriously. If you come out and see that the Mets end up with some COVID positives, all that kind of mess, I, I think that's going to tell me all I need to know. Who knows? This is just a conspiracy theory. Just throwing it out there. Um, tell me your thoughts here. I mean, am I crazy? I think, I think that couldn't. If that was the case, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have hid it from his agent. Like you don't have to dime people out to tell them why you're. Because everybody's going to know who's going out or not. They're going to know that people went out. Like it's not possible to keep that a secret from the team and the management. Okay. So it's easy to say, I'm out. You you would communicate something. Something else happened. I don't know what that something else is, but something else happened. It's strange that nobody is talking. Like it, nobody. Well, he's the only one. What do well, you mean? Yeah, nobody? but like he's. This is not a ten man operation. Yeah, but like and nobody's. Some, everybody's keeping tight lipped. You, you don't think somebody somewhere has to know why he just decided to bounce? Like, I, do you, I don't do think you anybody consider, on that team does, no. Do you consider him a jerk for just leaving in the middle of a series? I think the lack of communication is really bad. I, I, I will agree with, with that. that. You're, talking, you're talking to somebody who's been in management more than I have not been in management, and all that good managers, bad managers, everybody, all we ever ask for is you got to talk to us. you got to communicate with us. you got to tell us where the hell you are. Yeah, if you're not okay. going to show up for work, you better let me know something. Yes. Like, that's it. Uh, Matt Miller said, knowing Cespedes, he is the one that isn't taking it seriously. Um, the Brown Yeti yeah, this said... Guy, this guy's a little bit of a wild card. Yeah, he said uh, he went out in Atlanta, now his girl's after him. <laughs> That's the Brown Yeti, man. Firing at all, uh, firing on all cylinders. So I have no idea, but I'm going to tell you this. This is not a situation where other people weren't taking it seriously and he didn't want to be the hall monitor, but he didn't want to be a part of it either. That th- That didn't happen. Okay. Okay. That that is something that you can easily talk to somebody about. Yeah, that's uh, without that, diming those people out, you could talk to somebody about. You might be right. 
You might be right. Uh, ben L. said, reminds me of Dennis Rodman. Um, eh. Eh. No, he's not that crazy. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that's the same thing. I don't think it's the same thing. All right, we got two more topics here, and both of these are flybys. So let's go ahead and dive in 